Hey guys, welcome back to our new Pokemon Black. <laughs> Did I really just say that? <laughs> I'm so off right now. Welcome back to our new Pokemon X and Y. Today we're gonna be having a match against a fellow Skyper. Uh, now I do have a couple of things I want to mention. First of all, uh, the layout is in work by a person that's a really good designer and uh, the thing is he's trying to improve it and um, um, just in the meantime I'm gonna try to do this full screen have three really good matches so look forward to those uh, probably daily uploads from this point when it comes down to Wi-Fi so again look forward to those and with that being said let's get directly into this match so Tan of Flame against Gavancha I guess he's running a tech nature he had to switch out to me to be a speed nature one which I was Tan of Flame against the Garchomp we both made a switch and unfortunately, I had to switch out to Klefki, expecting him to go for the Dragon type move. The guy goes directly for the Mega Form. Ladies and gentlemen, that is a huge threat. Talking about huge threats, that thing is huge. Like a little bit more, and his head would have not been displayed on the screen. Now, that's that's a huge level. That guy, like, Sam feet tall or something, like Erika's level. But, uh, yeah, so the guy goes for Earthquake again with a Reflect Support I know I can take and I definitely need to bluff in order to survive because I need this guy to get out of here. Like literally, I need him to go home. So that's what he does, he goes home, takes a nap and here comes his uh, EG Slash I believe it's called or is it EG Slash? EG Slash, we're just gonna call it EG Slash and hopefully it's the right pronunciation. It's probably the most used Pokemon at the moment even after me not playing the Wi-Fi you know, that much. From what I've seen, most people face this, or both teams have this. Now, that speaks on its own. That's like Politoed's level. But, uh, you know, back in the fifth duration. Anyways, Klafki, from my past experience, and from what I've seen from the typing as well, this guy can handle EG Slash left and right, if only played right. So, I'm gonna go for a Reflect right now, because I know with the Sword Ants, this guy is definitely not gonna be that big of a deal. Plus, with Sword Ants, he's kind of making my foul play that much stronger so I'm definitely gonna need to uh, have that one in mind if, in order to sort of survive so he's gonna review King Shield which is mostly the well it's kinda hard to keep on saying standard because you know the tiers have not been reviewed and what's standard really but from what I've seen this guy tends to run the sword move is it sacred sword or is it uh, or is it a secret sword I believe it's sacred sword he's running the sacred sword uh, Shadow Sneak, uh, Sword uh, sword Dance, as well as uh, King's Shield. That's pretty much the, the standard set I've been seeing everywhere. I've never really seen an Arm Head one, but uh, yeah, that's from what I've seen back before, so I may as well just share the experience with you guys and get some knowledge in there. Anyways, uh, Klefki Flare Blitz is not enough because, again, I do have the Reflect Up, which is incredible. Klefki has been such a good essence. Every t uh, ever since I replaced this Pokemon, uh, with uh, you know replace Agron with Klefki the matches have been so much more it's it's weird maybe this is just my way of playing it maybe that this is my style and I've never really uh, never really found it because uh, the screens is something I don't really use that much and I've seen them being very good and really underused to be perfectly honest I'm really surprised but hey you know offense and screens is the way to go anyways uh, make a guard charm after I go for the acrobatics giving him a decent amount of damage but uh, switching out Klefki, the guy uh, does expect such a switch makes us up very very dangerous uh, gonna go for earthquake he's just gonna shatter the ground even after me clearly levitating he still hits me like a like an absolute magician that he is and uh, you know the thing is I do have the reflect up so I can manage but here is where stuff get a little bit uh, interesting I've never seen this but why am I directly damaging the sub is this like a new mechanic in this situation because again I've never really faced a substitute user in the story mode and this is my first time really facing him in the Wi-Fi at the substitute so I'm really surprised but uh, either way it would have still been a two shot so yeah actually it would have not been a two shot because the thing is that yeah it would have not been a two shot so again I'm really really surprised anyways and Northern is uh, on the level speed where there's a, a Aerodactyl as well as Crobat I believe it's a uh, the speed up there it's not you know it's not on the same level but it is close if I'm not mistaken and I'm gonna switch out to my Gudra because I know Gudra can take on Noivern's Draco meter for days the guy does decide to go directly into his Sylvia and predict me to go for the Dragon Pulse which Noivern is uh, weak to maybe even Draco meter for all I know Gudra does learn it so th there could have been a possibility but uh, I didn't really want to risk because I do have a Gengar 
and Gengar can manage to take fairy type moves quite well from what I've seen right here. The guy goes to Shadow Ball, and as you can see, Sylveon, especially defensive level, is quite incredible. Sometimes it really shows the defense matters because the thing is, this is Gengar, it's all about power, but on the this level, we're talking about stab sludge bomb and we're talking about unstab shadow ball and it's doing you know his sylveon is it's outperforming me so that's uh, very important to note because the thing is if i didn't have more speed than sylveon then that thing would have been you know uh, take me out before i would have taken her out but that's of course not gonna happen because sylveon is a special defensive uh tank here comes his uh, uh talon flame and talon flame does have priority uh gale wing Braybird. Uh, that gives priority to the flying type moves, so I had to switch out and luckily the, the recoil was enough to take him down as well. Blind switches in this case, uh, just gonna go for the acrobatics after going for the, uh, the Tailwind. Because Tailwind is uh, set up for my, my other teammate because it's very important for me to outspeed uh, his Pokemons. And uh, you know it's very important for this Gudra to have the speed necessary in order to, uh, you know, to to semi uh, handle as well not to mention that uh, Mega Gengar is actually quite important in order to outspeed his Noivern so uh, I'm just gonna go for the Dragon Pose this turn a Roserade comes in uh, doing a lot of damage that was with a crit involved I'm not too sure if the crit mattered uh, for this Fire Blast to be enough it could have now that I think about it but then again Fire Blast is much stronger than Dragon Pose so I'm really not too sure uh, but uh, whatever the case, it was enough on taking him out. And after that, the Novern is gonna go for the final Draco Meteor, go for the strongest Dragon Stab move. And as you can see, Gudra takes it very well. Impressive to consider that even a crit will not be enough, considering how the crit mechanic works in this generation. It's been crippled. And as you can tell, that uh, another Draco Meteor would have not been enough because of the minus two. So that was the game, guys. It uh, happened to be a 2 0 score and hope you guys have enjoyed it as much as i did anyways guys if you did click that like button thank you very much and until next time take care peace